We were never allowed to tell the disaster. I never talked to my wife or my kids for 25 years about this. Indianapolis changed history. It was a shift that changed history, but the men pay the price. As far as I'm concerned, it should be told what really happened out there in the water. I started into the Navy when I was 16, and I saw all 10 battles. I saw the flag raised in Mount Sarabachi. And I personally helped load and unload components of the atomic bombs. On the 30th of July, we were hit by two torpedoes from a submarine and sunk. Next thing I know, the ship's going right out from under me. All I did was just walk over the side of the ship and into the water. I didn't jump off the ship. The ship left me. I opened my eyes under the water and I could see this ship was coming down on top of me. I never did know how to swim and the Navy never taught me how to swim. And here's all these sharks going around. Come right across your legs like that. It was chaos. We couldn't understand why we weren't rescued. A lot of them lost the will to live. You look at their eyes, they're, they're lost. You see people and they're, 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 they're not there. Us guys decided, well, hell, this is where we're going to die. Then, there on that uh, fourth day, I said, I hear a plane. And we began to splash water. We began to yell. We began to pray everything. And, and seemingly, when he got to a point that had he gone any further, he would have gone over. But you know what he did? He made a dive. How did I make it with nothing to eat, no water to drink, no sleep for five nights? Tell them the Lord was with me. If somebody wrote this up as fiction, nobody would believe it happened. People don't realize the politics in the armed forces. All the headlines were about the captain being court-martialed. Many a head should have rolled before they ever got to the captain. It's the story that's not been told. Those don't want to remember. They don't want to recall this. It's too much. But I'm a dummy. I think it ought to be told. Thank you.